Hello, it's good to see you again. This week, I've been in the Lake District. So this week, as in last weekend, I went to the Lake District. I only went for one night. Um, I slept in my van overnight. I slept at uh, Honister Slate Mine. Um, apparently you can pay to use their car park overnight. Now there's no facilities at all while they're closed. So if you haven't got the ability to sort yourself out, um, you'll be stuck. But it was the first time I'd been there. I was aiming for the Buttermere area. So I just thought that's the best place to go. <clears throat> I've not been, well, I, ha I have been to the Lake District. I went probably like 18, maybe 19 years ago, um, but I wasn't a photographer then. I didn't really have any interest in photography. So you don't look at the places the same way, if that makes sense. Um, so this was the first time I'd been as a photographer with a different eye, if that makes sense. Um, and wow, what a place. What a place. The Saturday that I drove up there, rain, 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 and then it rained. Then it rained again, and then it went really foggy. Uh, and then it rained all night until about three in the morning, I think. <laughs> um, but I didn't mind. I, I, I loved it, loved every minute. We went, went out, I took, I took my dog with me, so, um, we went for a walk in the rain. We went down to Buttermere, which was kind of like my goal. That lake, I've Googled the hell out of it in terms of maps and stuff like that. I've wanted to go there so many times and I've, I've talked myself out of it and not put the effort in to go. But this time it was like, let's do this, let's go. So standing at the edge of Buttermere, looking up and just being amazed at these mountains that kind of went up and then disappeared into cloud, <laughs> into the rain clouds and stuff. I was like, oh, I wonder how high it is. And I had no idea. So it was like very strange, but just so peaceful, so beautiful that, um, yeah, I was quite, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I was just amazed, absolutely amazed. So, had my dinner in the van, kept it out of sleep and everything, got up early and I was originally going to look for the famous Bothy, but um, I, look, I got my bearings a bit lost. Uh, so I just, just walked basically and just carried on walking around and going up higher and higher. But the problem I had was, I mean, the weather this day was, uh, it, it went from the complete opposite. So it was blue skies were forming. It was cloud, but cloud was just lifting and, and, and breaking up um, to reveal some beautiful blue skies and very, very strong sunlight. Um, but the problem I had is that I was carrying uh, my massive backpack, which had my Pentax 6x7 with one lens, one, one lens on it and a spare lens, Canon 5D with a lens on and another spare lens, the drone, batteries, film, tripod, water, uh, I'm sure the washing up sink was in there somewhere and I think I was probably way, uh, the amount of clothes I was wearing as well was too much and I had my waterproofs because I was expecting more rain. So, um, and also, and this is the key, key, key thing of the whole trip, is I've become very, very unfit. Uh, the lockdown has taken, this is where the lockdown has really revealed itself as, as, as taken over. Um, I it really struggled. It broke me climbing up just the first bit, which was like a, uh, like a half a mile hike, but up uneven surfaces. And yeah, that, that really revealed to me how unfit I've become. So I need to work on that. But eventually, I'm rambling, sorry. <laughs> uh, eventually I, I got to a few places where I could stop and take some photos and just really start to take the place in. And I suddenly became massively, massively overwhelmed. Um, and that's not even an understatement. I just, just my, my mind just stopped working. I'd, I'd stopped doing B-roll for this video. I didn't do much else in terms of video apart from the drone stuff. Um, yeah, I was just so overwhelmed at the scale and the beauty of the place that 
I forgot to do what I was supposed to do. I took a few photos on the 5D, the G9 and on the Pentax. Um, I got some lovely um, slide shots of the place. So I shall show you some of those shots. There's like a mix of digital and film. Um, so I'm really pleased with what I got. Absolutely no problems there. I'm so amazed with the, the shots I've got. Um, but I know for next time I need to be better prepared. So that's my lesson for you all on this one. Better preparation <laughs> and be fitter for myself. Um, I loved it. I had the best time. Really, really did just, even though it was breaking me physically and mentally at times, I really had to force myself to keep going. But I am so proud that I managed to climb up to the, one of the peaks. I don't, it, I don't think it's got a name. If it has, I'll put it here. But just so proud that I did it and so pleased that I pushed myself to go that bit further. So that was it, it's just like a little update really, because I haven't got all the video footage that I had planned to, to get. So this is just a little weekly update as to what happened last week. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will be going back. I hope to go back in autumn, or to more of autumn, just to get some more of that color before it completely goes brown, brown and horrible. So watch this space. So that's your key to click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified as to when I upload a new video. Do give this video a thumbs up and any of my others, please. It really does help the channel. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. Yes, soon, before the end of the year, that's my goal. Thank you for watching. I hope this was something a bit different, a bit less ram, well no, it was probably more rambly than normal, but informative for you. <laughs> So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Do take care.